Oh, they are really excited. You should have seen them when we were going to do the shopping, the school shopping for them. All oh, thanks to the Tuko families for the support. I was able to do school shopping for them with a lot of ease. So they have got everything they need. They have the shoes, the bags, everything is set. They are already, they came here and they wanted to sleep in their uniform. Oh. They wanted to go to bed in their uniform. Considering they are wearing uniform for, for the, the first time. time. For the very first time in their life. Yeah. And they are, they are really looking forward even to see themselves with everything new. What to work as Cindy? Eh? Eight months ago, I brought you the story of the three girls whose lives had been damaged by their dad in Korogocho slums. This amazing woman here took them in and cared for them as if they are her own daughters. Today, they are joining school for the first time, as in our Toto Hawajawai Ngia Shule, today will be their first time. And I thought how best to do it than share this moment with you because you guys contributed a lot to make sure these girls get here mm -hmm. and Gladys I'm really excited yes. about this super yes. excited yes I'm also very happy mm -hmm. and looking forward to this day It's been a while. Yes. Na leondi watoto wanaingia shule. Yes. Mara yao ya kwanza kuingia shule. They are first time in school. They are first time in class ever ever in life. These girls are very very excited. Um we took them in the month of May and uh we had them meet the Tuko family in the month of July. So we can say since we welcomed this girl in our house, it is now 8 months. Okay. Eight months of great progress, Lynn. Great. Kwanza, if we just start with their weights, the the big one was weighing 19 kilos, the eight years old one. Now she's weighing 28 kilos. The second bone was weighing uh, 11 kilos. Now she's weighing 19. Now she's the one at 19. The small one who could not walk or talk or do nothing, she came here weighing 8 kilos at 3 years. Now she's weighing 15. Mm. That one is the one who has overgrown the other. She's very big, her appetite is very good. Yeah. And I'm very happy to see the kind of progress that these girls are registering every day. Since the, we aired their story on Tuko, we got well wishes come through for them. In a big way, in such a way, we were able to have a homeschooling teacher for the girls. So since the month of July, we had we had them in in home homeschooling. homeschooling. Mm -hmm. So there is a teacher who has been coming here at home, teaching them every day since July, and that is what has made a huge difference in these kids. Even as we are taking them to school today. It is courtesy of the well wishes of Tuko, Tuko family mm. because I, 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 I thought it's good we prepare them. They have never been to school. They didn't even know how to hold the pen. They didn't know how to count, how to say uh, simple words. So what I did, I thought it's good I get the teacher for them to just do the basics for them. So the teacher has been coming here every day. The teacher started teaching them numbers. We have their files here. You will be able to see their files. Mm. The big one could only count number one up to not even 20. Right now she's doing number one to 20. She's writing her name. She's doing mathematics. Oh, yes. <laughs> she's reading three words, three words sentence. Yes. The, the second bone is also doing one to almost uh, 50. Mm -hmm. the, the small one is good with coloring and doodling and all that yeah. courtesy of the Tuko family I'm very very grateful to the Tuko family mm -hmm. because maintaining that teacher and paying her every day every month every month I, I by my own I would not have made it mm -hmm. so we have been having that teacher they have the assessment on their files they have been having the assessment tests every time they sit for an exam every time they sit for an exam for the teacher to assess amazing enough and I want to thank God the big one 
is a genius. Oh, Even the teacher told us that this girl is a genius in the making. Yes, we call her doctor because she says, me, I'm a doctor. We even buy her the toys, the, the doctor, the doctor toys. Yeah. Because she believes she's a doctor. And the teacher told me, this one will for sure be a doctor. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, of course, she's aspiring to be a uh, Miss World. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> for her, she's too much in beauty. Yes. The small one, we are still picking her, but for her, she's a person of rules and laws. Mm. Everything has to be in order and in place. And in place. Yeah. Everything you see here is what the Tuko family has been able to give to us. You see, we have a stationary corner here that has got even a bell. We have even a school bell, you see. So they used to have school breaks because uh, what the teacher said is that we give them uh, a, a, a full view of how a school setup looks like. So we got somebody come and donate to us this school bell so that they are able to know the they are able to know the breaks. So when they go to school and they hear the bell because they have never been to school, remember. So when they go to school and hear the bell, they will not be surprised what that one is. They are already used to the bell. And uh, all these stationaries have been donated to us by the Tuko families and well-wishers. It has been quite a journey with them. But I want to say that um, over and beyond maybe what people see on the screen, the greatest work in these kids has been helping them to outgrow the slum mentality. You see the small, small, small trainings you do in the house, that has been the greatest challenge how they think, how they do things around in the house. You see, like for our kids, they know how to do things. Yes. They know how to put everything in place, everything in order. Yeah. But I'm telling you, for a kid who has been in the slum, they do everything up and upside down. They don't have any order. They don't, they don't, yeah, it's just a brand new world for them. So for them, adapting a new mindset. Adapting a new mindset has been the, the real struggle. Mm. You know, like you have to tell them, you have to wake up and shower, they are wondering, what's the bother? <laughs> Why should I even shower? You tell them when you finish with the plate, put it there. They are, the way they speak, the language they use, they are using the slum language. Yes. So it is again a lot of work to train them. If you hear an in, in, inappropriate word, you tell them, no, next time don't say that word. Yes. Next time don't talk like this. Next time, don't treat the other person like this or like that, yeah. because that is what they were used to. Yeah, are they are, are they excited to go to school? Oh, they are really excited. You should have seen them when we were going to do the shopping, the school shopping for them. <laughs> All thanks to the Tuko families for the support. I was able to do school shopping for them with a lot of ease. So they have got everything they need. They have the shoes, the bags, everything is set. They are already, they came here and they wanted to sleep in their uniform. Oh. They wanted to go to bed in their uniform. Considering they are wearing uniform for, for the, the first, first time. time, for the very first time in their life. Yeah. And they are, they are really looking forward even to see themselves with everything new, you know, and uh, I, w I just pray that God will bless everybody who has been blessing these kids because th th you, they just support them, but they don't know the kind of love they communicate to these kids. These kids feel loved. They feel valued because they even wonder, how do I have everything new to myself? They were used to have tattered clothes, everything bad, you know, but now here you are, you take them to a, to a to butter shop and you pick new shoes for them yeah. you take them to a uniform shop everything yes. new for them you know and they are wondering my god you mean we were to be loved this much yeah. because i think all what these girls needed is a lot of love a lot, the, of, love. A lot of love and and um you are officially their foster mom yes 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 it's even on papers it is even on papers yeah. we have been given the fostering certificate that is the document that the children's office gives for for me to be to be allowed by law to stay with these girls so we have the certificates until maybe when they get their relatives or anybody who can come and claim them mm. so now they are safe and secure and part of our family yes, yes. Um, is the dad still in prison yeah i know that's what many people want to know is the dad still in prison yeah the dad is still in prison actually we have a case next month in february mm -hmm. yeah we are supposed to go to court okay. 
yeah so the the case is ongoing mm -hmm. yeah all right yeah you've prepared even breakfast for them <laughs> Yes, um, it's it's uh, it's I, I you know I like making memories for these girls. Like uh, I remember, there's a time they kept uh, asking me, "Mummy, when is our birthday? Mummy, when is our birthday?" And since I didn't have their birth dates, so what I did, I just did one com one big combined birthday, and they celebrated, and they were so happy to cut the cake. They were so happy to see the other kids come here. Oh, they were very excited to receive even the the birthday uh, yeah. gifts. They have never seen a birthday gift. Yeah. They were so excited. So uh, on the birthday day, mm. we made for them a special breakfast, just like this one. Yeah. So it was just a very beautiful day, progressively since morning. We wanted them to feel it's our day. It's a special day. Yeah. So today being the, their first day in school, I also wanted them to have a breakfast to make them feel it's a special day for oh, them. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Amazing. It's a special day for okay. them. Okay. I wish I could do more for them, but uh, I think this one will make them feel. Mm. For me, everything I do for these girls, it is geared towards making them that, make, making them feel that love. So I just want them to know as they are going to school, they come from a home where they are loved. So nobody can look down on them at mm. school. Mm. Nobody can. You know, they are as good as any other kid in the school. Mm -hmm. I want them when they are in school, when they are interacting with the other kids, they know mommy loves me, our home is the best, we have everything, we are okay. We, I don't want them to have a sense of missing anything. Mm -hmm. I want them to have the best. So that's why we have the, 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 the special, <laughs> the, special. The, the special breakfast for yes. them. Because I want them, to, I want to send them to school yeah. with that mentality. Yes, we are loved and we are special. Oh, okay. Yeah, Lovely. yeah. I'm glad this. Yeah. Where are we financially? Do we have enough uh, yeah. to see these kids through school? Yeah. Or is there more that Tuko family can do? Uh, I would really, first of all, start with appreciating. Because this family, you remember when you first did our story, yeah. we were dividing one packet of milk, we cook it twice. We were able to come this far because of the Tuko family. So I first want to start by appreciating them. Even for me to be able to shop for the school uniform, even to be able to, to pay this beginning term, it is because of what the Tuko family have done. Maybe what I can request is as they progress, we need more support because they will need to go through the, the whole primary school. They will need to go through high school. I am seeing them even joining campus so the more the more people we have joining and supporting these kids is assuring the future for them mm. so we would really want people to support these kids kindly to just hold their hands mm. so that at any point yes. they will not have any difficulties yes. yeah uh, what would be your final words to our audience our audience i would really i love you so much <laughs> i would love to say that i love them so so much I appreciate the support they have been giving us this far. Mm. There is no single day we don't pray for them in this house. In this house, we have developed a, a prayer routine for every night. Actually, we have a, a, a prayer schedule for every night where we have everybody praying their day. Yesterday, I'm the one who prayed. So we have the day for each and every one of them. And the big girl is our prayer prefect. So you ask her even from nowhere, you just ask her, today who is praying? She will tell you today is mommy's day, today is Diana's day, today is so-and-so's day. She knows. And uh, we pray and mention the Tuko family. Thank you. And we pray for God to bless them. Thank we you. pray for God to prosper them. Even in these COVID-19 times, we usually pray for God to keep them safe from this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So I want to, to say that God will bless them and God will even bless their children's children mm -hmm. because of their kindness to us. And... Um, I am now more convinced of what Mother Teresa said. You know, I can't finish the, 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 the show before I mention Mother Teresa because she's my role model. Mother Teresa said, the world is full of good people because you and me can choose to be good. And I have seen the Tuko family 
living true to the Mother Teresa's words mm. that I want to be good. It starts with saying myself, I want to be good. And I've seen individuals standing up and saying, I want to be counted in the life of these children. I want to walk the journey with them. The kind of support we've gotten is, I'm so happy. Even the moral support, I get people call me sometimes, even even pray with me over the phone, even just check on us, not even just financial, just to just check on us. How are you doing? How are the girls? You know, sometimes you miss somebody to ask you, how are you doing? For the moral support, I just want to thank you so much. Mm -hmm. The Tuko family, the best family. The best family. The best family. The best. family. The best. best family. Yes. Yeah, we wish you all the best. Yeah. And may God continue guiding you. Yes. And I'm sure this is not the last time we are coming here. Yes. We will be back for more and more. Until Tuone, yes. Waki graduate Kukua, doctors. Yes. Waki graduate Kukua, Miss World. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Engineers, Engineers. Doctors. Yes. 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 Yeah, we are wishing them the very best. Mm. Even as they go to, uh, as they report to school today, it's a, st a, a start of a great journey of greatness. Amina. Yes. yes. I am, these girls, I'm telling you, these girls, are, you will be reading them in the greatest books. Yes. People will be watching them yeah. on the greatest media mm -hmm. because they are breaking record. Amina. Me, I have a lot of faith in them. Amina. Yeah. And before I forget, yeah. I give people your phone number yeah. just in case they forget, like oh. where they can find you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my, my phone number is... Uh, uh, plus two five four seven one three three one four five two two plus two five four seven one three five two two thank you mm. Santi Sana. yeah <laughs> thank you yes <laughs>